We are destined to be children of God. We are destined to go out. We are destined to for a purpose. So don't let your fear keep you at home. Don't let your fear keep you from doing what you are supposed to do. Uh, hi there everyone, this is Elisma here from God First, GGK, Glorifying God's Kingdom. Now today's word is something that I've experienced, right? So now, um, we all know the issue where it says that we have the fear of the unknown. Fear of uncertainties, fear of we don't know what's going to happen, fear of we don't know if we're going to have enough money, fear of, fear of, fear of, right? But now, what we are facing right now is the fear of the known, right? The fear of the known. Look, okay, well, this is what the virus did to my cousin. This is what the virus did to me. I don't want to get it again. I don't want to go. I don't, I, 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 uh. And you go into this fear bowl thing and this, this volcano and it just sucks you up and you sit at home and you're so scared to breathe. No, that's not what we are supposed to do. That's not where God wants you to be. He doesn't want you to sit at home. He doesn't want you to fear. He doesn't want you to be scared to do your purpose. And how are you going to do your purpose if you can't connect with people? How are you going to do your purpose if you can't go to work? How do you do your purpose? Yes, we all, some, some of us have the luxury to work at home. Yes, we can do videos to spread the name of God. Yes. But if your purpose is to go out there. If your purpose is to let your light shine, we need to do it. We need to stand in our purpose. Now, we need to do this with wisdom, right? We need to do this with wisdom. Because why? Because with the enemy is very clever. The enemy deceives us. The enemy tells lies. The enemy comes and he just blinds us. And then we go into a trap. We fall into a trap. So we need to go in to the world with wisdom. You know, David, when he went to go face Goliath, he he told them, listen, it's, 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 I, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's okay. Because I fought a bear. I fought a lion. God helped me to do it. So I will go face this giant. And I'm sure in his heart, he thought, oh, okay, the giant is, you know, twice as big as a lion or a bear. Da, da, da. But he didn't speak it. He said, Lord, I'm going in your name. And look what he also said. He said in 1 Samuel 17 verse 32, he said, Let no man's courage fail because of him. Because of the giant. Because of Goliath. Let no man's courage fail because of the enemy. Let no man's courage fail because of COVID. Let no man's courage fail because of looting. Let no man's cover fail because of bad things happening out there. We need to put God on. We need to walk with God. We need to say, Lord, I'm doing this in your name. You are my strength. With you by my side, who can be against me? Lord, with you in me, I've got strength. Nothing is impossible for God Almighty. Nothing is impossible for God Almighty. And he who strengthens me, I can do anything. So we need to go out into the world. We need to go do our purpose. We need to go do shopping. You need to go buy groceries for your house. You need to, you need to, you need to. I also went to this, oh, am I going to take my kids to school? I don't want to take my kids to school. What da, da, da. They need to learn. They need to. Some people have homeschool. That is great. But I, like me, my ministry is at my house. So I need my kids to go to school so that I can continue with my purpose. They can continue with their purpose. Each and every one of us has a role. We need to complete and step into that role. Now the wisdom thing. David didn't pick up just any stone. He didn't pick up the biggest rock and, you know, and didn't think. He just, no. I'm sure he went there and he asked God for wisdom. And he asked God, okay, Lord, show me what stones I need to pick up. And he picked up five smooth stones. Why five smooth? Because, you know, smooth stones goes faster in the air. It goes faster. So if you throw a stone that's got edges and things, and if you throw a stone that's smooth, the smooth one will reach the destination quicker. He knew. My enemy is going to try to deceive me. I need to bowl him out. I need to pull him with one stone. Right? I need to be clever. I need to be wise. We need to be wise as children of God.
mind. We need to be wise. We need to tell the enemy, you are not welcome in my purpose. You are not welcome in my life destiny. You are not welcome in what I'm supposed to do. You will not block me. You will not put fear in my space. Right? Because I've God's wisdom. Right? And then, remember, um, the king wanted to put all this armor on him. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm not feeling comfortable. Let me just go in what I'm comfortable. So don't be uncomfortable. You know what? We are needed in the world. We are needed out there. We are needed around people. We are needed. You know, Jesus prayed to God for his disciples before he went to heaven. He said, Lord, don't take them out of this world, but keep them and protect them from the evil one. Because we are needed in the world. We are needed to let our light shine, right? We are needed to be that salt flavor to people for that purpose. Don't lose your salt flavor. Don't lose your purpose. Don't lose what you are called to do because you are too scared to go out. No. Yes, I do understand a lot of people passes away, pass away, and, 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 and it's horrible. I do understand that. But let's do what we are destined to do until it's done. In the end, God holds everything. God holds everything. Let's do for God what we are supposed to do. Let's live our purpose. Let's let our light shine because people need our light. They, they need our light because they are sad. They are broken. They walk in unforgiveness. They walk in darkness. We as children of light, we as Christians, we as, as just we need to go let our light shine so that we can change people's hearts into God into Jesus so that they can be filled with the Holy Spirit so that they can change from the old baptized into the new and change because people need change we need to change we need to grab onto God we need to say Lord you are our everything I put you first I'm so passionate about this and I get so angry when people don't put God first I get so angry and I get sad and it's not, I'm not judging them. God is everything. Walk with your light. Go be that salt. Go put flavor to the world. Shake it off just as you walk. Shine and salt. Shine and salt. Put flavor, light, and just that fragrance of God. The fragrance of God. We as Christians, we as children of God need to spread God. We need to spread the whisper, gospel. What did Jesus say? What did Jesus say? What did he say? He said, Matthew 28 verse 19, Make disciples of all nations. Help them to learn of me. Help them to learn of me. Believe in me and obey my words. Listen there. Help them. So we need to be living examples. We need to help people that's lukewarm. We need to help people that got hurt through a church. That, that wasn't God. God didn't hurt them. People did. God is not that church. We need to help people. We need to teach them to obey God's words. Teach them to obey God's word. Jesus said it. And believe, believe in Him, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We need to push people into saying, be baptized. Why? Because it's a public declaration of, I am a child of God. I believe in Jesus Christ as my Savior. I put myself down and I stand up in the newness of the Holy Spirit. This, the Holy Spirit is going to walk before me. I'm going to put my flesh behind me. I'm ready. Work with me, God. I walk in repentance. Change me, God. Walk in God. That is why we need to be baptized. To change and to do it publicly. Publicly. This thing that my relationship 
With God, it's a personal thing. Nonsense! We need to shout it out loud. Yes, we do have personal things that we share with God. But your walk with God, your belief, your shine. If we had to keep our walk with God a personal thing, we would have put our lights under the basket. What did Jesus say? He said, let your light shine. Don't put it under a basket. Put it on top of the hill where everyone can benefit of it. Everyone can see Jesus in you. We need to help people. We need to grab people. We need to get kingdom people ready. Heaven to earth. Heaven to earth. We can access heaven to earth any day. Because uh, we can enter into the holy of holies. Why? Because Jesus did it all for us. Jesus did it all for us. We need to be alive. We need to wake up. We need to shout His name. We need to glorify His name. We need to just be in Him. We need to be in Him. There's no other way. There's no other way. There's no other way. Um, in, in Amos 5, verse 4 and 6 and 14, and, and 15 it says seek me search me dilig diligently find me and regard me as more essential than food so you may live right verse 6 seek the Lord search for him diligently as the most essential need and you may live Verse 14, seek God, not evil, so you may live. Verse 15, hate evil, love good. Hate evil, love good. We need to walk in God. We need to walk in Him. We need to honor Him. He is our everything. Seek Him, seek Him, seek Him. And that is how we need to be an example. You can't sit at home. Pick up your stones of wisdom before you move and go out and spread God's word. Spread His name. He is good. Don't walk in fear, walk in faith. Be blessed everyone. I'll see you again. Bye bye. Hey everyone, if this video meant something for you, please comment and tell us how it really, you know, changed your mindset. How it maybe changed your mindset from fear into you need to move forward. I would, it would really bless someone else to see that we as children of God can move out of fear and into faith with God. Be blessed everyone. Bye bye.